Now we are going to talk about workflow administration. Okay, so the workflow administration, the some of the transaction codes that we are going to use is uh, let me open the PowerPoint is SWI2 underscore diac. Okay, so I go SWI2 underscore diac. So anything that starts with SW transaction code is related with SAP workflow. So here you can see once I execute, here we don't have any error. So if there was an error, you'll get work items and you can click on restart. So let's see. Here we have some errors. So we got more workflows. Errors. So here if you see, you can click on the workflow log. And from here, if you want, from here you can check the restart restart workflow so the whole purpose is here to take care of this restart workflow and also to build uh, enhancements or to correct the workflow why this uh, to correct the workflow template or the design so that this doesn't happen uh, again so that's the whole purpose so here you can see these are the different workflows you that are in error so this covers everything that has having a workflow error now, if you want to put filter, you can put filter, you can do whatever you want here. So the filter, you can put task, you can put workflow contain, workflow templates also. So now we go to another transaction. The next one is SWI2 underscore ADM1. So this one tells you which are the workflows that are assigned, that are not assigned to any users. Okay, so let's see. We find anything, nothing is there, and we, and again you can put filter here. So these these are the workflows that are created but are not assigned. So you might be saying, "What? Well, I still didn't understand what you're talking about." So these ones, so it's not assigned to any users. Okay, so these are the ones that are like this. So now, uh, this is this tells everything. That is not assigned to a user. So generally, it will always pick up the dialog users. Okay. So now let's go to another transaction. I kept the transaction because I'll be using it for some. And the next one it says WI2 underscore ADM2. So if I click on that, this will tell me all the orphaned work items. So. So here, if you see, these are the orphaned work items. The orphaned work items are work items that are assigned to someone who has left the company. Okay. So if you notice, so you, you might be saying, what do you mean by it? So probably student 073 is, let's see, student 073. So if you go to SU01D. And we type student 073. It's not there. But it was there at one point of time. So that's why it's not showing. So this picks up orphan work items. Okay, this is pretty useful. Okay, now the next workflow items is SWI6, SWI5 and SWI. Okay. So let's go and we'll get, let's do SWI6. SWI6 is, is a place where suppose you want to see the workflow log for a particular transaction code. So we can use, suppose we have this example for this purchase order, okay? But for this, you have to know the purchase order uh, business object. So if I go uh, here, I know the purchase order business object. If I go bus two zero one two, and I click uh, this control V, I press enter, and I say all instance, and here I put all to show me the workflow log of this. If I scroll down. These are the workflow logs that has been triggered. So this is SWI6. Now SWI5 tells you what are the stuffs in your inbox. Okay, so if I go to SWI5, 
and suppose I put US and here I put student zero one one that's mine and I'll click on this and here it shows all the workflows that are that are assigned to this user so if you see there is 34 and 33 37 so you might say oh well, let's tally it up so we'll tally it up with this so we'll go here we'll go to our SAP inbox and we'll match the number so if I go here in box if you can see I have 37 okay now what we'll show uh, we'll see we'll try to assign some more workflows in our inbox okay so if you notice these were some of the workflows that are not assigned to anyone no these are the workflows that are already triggered so let me see here Oop, that is fine okay we can use this too okay so there are idocs so we found these two workflows so if you see i can click on one like this and i can select this button and I can put my so let me see I think I cannot put my name yes. you cannot choose yourself as an agent so here I'll put another user so before that I will see um, what is the agent's workload okay so I'll probably assign it to 30 okay execute and we have 135 items in this person's inbox now what we are going to do is we'll assign another one student zero one and this will assign this to that person but imagine now we'll see uh, how many he has he used to have 135 and he should now have 136 okay now so here he is assigned to that now if you notice now there may be maybe a requirement where i need to forward to uh, multiple users not to one user so that feature can be done here you have a settings see workflow settings personal settings and you want to enable forward work items to multiple users you click this one and you click enter and we'll see what change i did so before that i also want to see i will send it to another person okay step going five and you go to us and i put probably send to Twelve student twelve as well as student thirty. So here it's uh, not found. So this person is not there. So student ten. Okay, that's good. Student ten has thirty three. Now the next target we are going to do is we are going to forward this here, and we we'll put student one three. And now you see there's a pop up, and here I put student one one. Okay, okay, sorry, student 10. Sorry, student 10. Okay, uh, student 10. So, student 10. Yeah. So now I forwarded this. Now, if you notice, this count will increase to 34. It did and 
this one we will increase to 137 so this is one now if you notice we want to now forward all these items so now here if you see we don't have the forward button so if you want to have the forward button uh, the work item id we just copy from here and what we'll do is we'll go to this transaction SWIA we will put next here clipboard copy it and suppose and now we want to forward not a valid object okay this is not the one we want so these are the old ones where was the other ones okay let's see Wait. i think we have to go slash and sw i2 underscore adm1 and we want to select all this okay this one has it so if i select all and if i do this and i can forward it now see all these things are gone and i assign to student 10 probably i'll have a lot of items 143 so this is this is everything that related with workflow administration and the workflow administration is very useful and anyone that is running sap workflow needs to have this workflow administration so you'll be using it okay so this concludes the tutorial i hope you like it and uh, thanks for your time and we'll cover more to sap tutorial and happy learning thank you